All right, so we're going to talk about the uh, propane tanks on the camper here. And more specifically, we're going to talk about the connectors. Um, one thing to mention here, I don't live near a racetrack or on a racetrack. So if we do hear traffic in the background, it's uh, just people being knobs and probably going three times the speed limit. It is 35 and they usually treat it like it's a quarter mile drag strip. All right, so our last camping trip. I brought the camper home and I could smell gas and we'd used the uh, appliance, the uh, stove top, but I always turn the tank off so there obviously is some pressure still in the line from using the stove and I touched the line like this and there was a little hiss of gas came out and I was like oh this must be loose so I tried to crank it down, nope, uh, pressed on it again, hissed out more gas and I'm like okay that's obviously leaking so I went to a uh, hardware store to find that uh, hose and that's this one here this is the one the new one that I replaced this is the one that I took off so this would be the original one and when I looked it up in the owner's manual it says these have a life expectancy of two to three years which kind of surprises me but if we look at this end here right here you'll see this is like a rubber o-ring here and it's all cracked that's where it was hissing out the gas leaking so luckily they uh, these are pretty common they had this at the hardware store so the one thing I don't quite understand about this fitting here so you can see there is some sort of thread sealant on here but if you look on the inside you'll see that it's cone shaped so that it's actually sealing on the inside so I'm not sure why this was all thread sealed. This one I replaced, I did the same thing and put thread seal on the, uh, thread sealant I should say, for gas, on the threads and when I threaded it down as tight as I could get it, it still leaked and I was like, well that's probably because this isn't getting in far enough to make the connection because you have all that goop in the thread. So if you are gonna put thread seal on that I'd use it sparingly because they the way this is supposed to work is it's supposed to bottom out on itself to make the actual seal all right so I'm going to show you how to change the uh, the other one here it's always a good idea to change them in pairs so it's a good idea to use gloves anytime you're around propane make sure your uh, guy sounds like he's got an exhaust leak make sure you got your tank closed and uh, we're gonna loosen this here. And then it's always a good idea to use two wrenches whenever you loosen up a, a connection like this because you wanna hold on this one when you pull on this one. And it's, whenever you work with gas, it's a good idea to do that. And you can see, maybe you can't, this one's just absolutely glued, glued with sealant again and I'm not sure why. Yeah, so this one's all, they got a green, and it looks like it's the right type of sealant, but this, this is uh, inverted here, and that, in there it looks like it's a, I, I don't understand that, I don't know, it's cone, it's cone shaped, they go together, I don't know why we're putting thread sealant on that, and these don't look like pipe thread, it's, these are just like straight threads, so, I mean, do what you wish, but I, I don't think that's correct. And this is what I'm using to replace it. I think they were like a 15 or maybe a 12 inch hose. All they had were the 18 inch. And it is a flexible, and I think that's an Acme connection. That must be the, the hose end or whatever. So we'll get this out of the box and pop it on here. All right, so we're gonna put this in. I'm not even gonna put any thread sealant on this one just because they got the thread so gummed up here and I'm not sure why like I said that's not the, the right type of fitting here so you're just gonna want to start this by hand and get it cranking and then once you get it close you're gonna want to see how it's gonna look you don't want too much of a bend in your hose here if you can help it or if you can get the bend where it looks looks good it doesn't look like that, that doesn't look too bad. Crank that down. And yeah, it should be alright. 
We could probably rotate this tank just a little bit too if we loosen this up just so that the hose isn't so close there. This one has a little bit more space. Actually this regulator too is, I think this regulator is actually, could move, there we go. So let's uh, tighten that up. So again, you're gonna want like a wrench to hold the nut that goes into the regulator. And then this one here, you're just gonna wanna crank down on. Oh, and that's right, they're two different sizes. So the, the new one, this is a little bit bigger. I think it's half. I had an 11 on it, yeah, half works well. So you're just gonna crank that down. And like I said, the threads aren't, aren't what's sealing. It should be that inverted fitting in there, that cone-shaped fitting, it's like a hydraulic fitting. So the next thing we'll do is turn the gas on, we'll check for leaks. All right, so to check for leaks, I'm using this which is a gas leak detector, but you could just use uh, some dish soap, with a little water. All you're looking for is bubbles. So we'll turn both tanks on. Is this one on already? Oh, no, I just heard it. So, and then what you wanna check, probably not this, this is probably fine. The, the connection that we make here, the brass fitting, that's the one you'll wanna check. Don't be uh, afraid to get it wet and then all you're doing is looking for bubbles and if it was leaking which it doesn't look like it is you'd see bubbles coming up all over the place or you'd hear it kind of hissing I'll go to both sides here so this is the uh, like the lever that changes the control for the whichever tank you're on but I don't see anything leaking here. And it's just a good idea to always check it. If you smell gas, chances are it's leaking gas. You have to take a look and find out where it's leaking from. But yeah, I don't see anything leaking here. It looks pretty good. Usually it would leak right away. So like I said, I didn't put any thread sealant on that one because that's not really how it's designed. But I have a feeling somebody at a camping store probably was the one that did that. And they're not always the most uh, well-versed in this type of thing. So they, they, they do a job, but maybe they don't do it the correct way. They think they are, but in this case, that's not the right way of doing it. So, oh, and the, the price for the hose was about $14.50. It was like $14.63 a piece. So the hoses aren't cheap for them only lasting uh, two to three years. And I don't know if you can get more life out of them if uh, you don't have it parked in the sun. You know, we keep this in the garage, so maybe, maybe you can get a little bit more life out of them. But like I said, all I did was press down on it like this, and right in here it hissed gas out, so I knew it was no good anymore. So, all right, that's just going to be a quick, easy uh, propane hose fix.